let's try that area. Well, that's better. That's quite a nice shot, actually. We're starting to lose the light quite fast now. So. What bit of colour we were going to get, I think we've had. That's it, guys. See you in the morning. After a couple of failed attempts, I've actually managed to get the tide times right. Dawn, low tide, rock slab exposed in all its glory. There's leading lines everywhere. Texture, there's gonna be color. Rock pulls, oh, happy days, happy days. So guys, I'm just gonna have a bit of a bit of an explore. Maybe get a shot as the sun comes up and then once the sun does come up and I can get a good look around the area, we're gonna make a few nice photographs. I'm very, very, very confident today we're going to make some nice shots, that is for sure. I think I've got about three shots left on this roll of film, and earlier on I preloaded a second film back with Kodak Ektar 100. We've got plenty to work with, oh, plenty of subject matter, oh. We're going at one second at F11. And I, I absolutely love that shot. That is a beautiful, beautiful shot. Oh, man, this is gonna be a, a good, good morning. The difficulty is, of course, deciding which formation to photograph because these slabs, they're everywhere. They're full of texture, different textures, different shapes. Everything's random. I'm trying to find elements that work against the backdrop using a little bit of the headland in the backdrop. That beautiful red sky. Got my second shot lined up here and I'm thinking it's probably time to shoot it actually now. F11, half a second. That is shot number two in the bag. More than happy. Oh, couldn't be any happier if I'd just won the lottery. Who needs a financial lottery when you've won the lottery of life? Oh, shut up Paul, you fool. Okay, I'm just saying. Where do we go? <laughs> I'll tell you what, they're quite slippy as well, these rocks having to tread quite carefully. We'll just keep, we'll keep moseying, we'll keep moseying. The surf's really pumping out there. So long as it doesn't pump up here, we're laughing. Now this third shot is gonna look quite nice. What an incredible view. F11, still half a second. Let me just get a little bit further back on that. Wow, that is gorgeous. I've got a little spirit level just to level up the shot. This shot is going to be very, very nice. I love it. That is the last frame on this on this roll, so we can bag that up. Dark slide in. You put it upside down, you fool. It's dark. I'm tired. Leave me alone. Dark slide in. Oh, what a glorious morning. Unbelievable. One back off, one back on. I didn't hit it click, but it's on, so that's good. Empty that cartridge later. So wind it on, wind it on, wind it on, wind it on, wind it on. Frame number one. We are ready to rock and roll. Dark slide out. Oh, that's glorious. It's always a little bit disconcerting shooting film when you've got a subject like this because you're you're wondering if you've got your exposure right. You're wanting to review the shot, to refine the shot. But shooting film, it just gives you that, it gives you that uncertainty. It really does make you work just that little bit harder to try and get the shot right in camera before you press the shutter and rush off to the next location. Uh, so much potential here to fall and break my neck. It's just got hospital written all over it. The intense colours in the sky have gone. Oh, this, I'm going to get wet. I've got myself into a bit of a hole. What I don't do is leap. <laughs> Not that there's much leap in me these days. I don't want to jump across one of these rock pools, go sliding on the other side and face plant. It makes some good video, to be fair, and probably improve my looks. But we're not gonna do that, thankfully, these days. I'm not as stupid as I used to be. Walking gingerly back around. I'm gonna head down the beach, get to that location I was at yesterday afternoon, and, and try and find that rock or a, another similar rock, because that sun is definitely gonna break through the cloud at some point. And when it does, hopefully, I'll have found that stunning rock and recreate the shot from yesterday. Oh, going well, it's going well, it really is. Just looking behind me with that 
where the sun is going to come up. Ooh, it's going beautifully out there at the moment. I might just grab a location, find a location to shoot that when it does come through. Come on, Paul, come on. Glorious, love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, such an incredible beach. Really have just got to stand back and admire that. I've got some, uh, I've got some lovely results there. I'm more than happy already. I've, I've not even seen the results from the last, uh, last couple of attempts here. So I've, I've no idea if I've got anything, if, if this has been all worthwhile or anything. But just to be out here in this environment, watching this, listening to this, really does a soul good. Soul, really does a soul good. You're talking like a soul, a freaking arsehole, shut up. I've got at least three, maybe four, I think I've got four shot that I'm really, really pleased with. I I'm, 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 can't wait to see the results. But the fun's only just started. It's early days. We're going to walk down the beach now, definitely, round that headland there. And we're just going to walk along the beach and see what else we can see. This is a great start. That's, oh, love it. Let's go. This rock looks quite interesting. It's just all slumped and sort of half buried. It, it looks quite cool actually. It's got quite a lot of character in it acting. So I'm gonna shoot it at 2.8, 60th of a second. Just waiting, see if we get a bit more intense light coming through, because at the moment that's quite milky. It's, there's, there's no light on it whatsoever, so it's not putting any contrast onto the subject, which, uh, which is a shame, because it would make quite a nice shot, given some nice light. We could be in for quite a wait. But hey, nothing else to do. That's a bit of a, it's a bit of a shame. For, unfortunately, we've got no light on this whatsoever. I just want to show some of the patterns and some of the textures in these rocks. You spend an eternity here and still find something new to shoot. It's incredible. This little area sums it up quite nicely. We've got all this patterned rock and then just a little clump of seaweed on its own and then seaweed around the, around the top of the shot. It looks quite nice. I think that's me done. I'm tired, I'm hungry, need a drink. More than happy with the shoot this morning. If I've done what I should do right, I'm confident we've got some nice photographs. I think we've got some really nice photographs to be fair. Love it down here, glorious place to be. I hope you've enjoyed this and taken something from it from the beautiful Tiangi Angi Marine Reserve. Catch you later.